Hi everyone, my name is Angela Hart. Welcome to my channel. I just graduated from Georgetown University with my Master's in Communications, Culture, and Technology, and this fall I will be a PhD candidate at American University. Today I am posing the question, is political satire possible on Twitter? Satire is the use of irony, wit, or humor to draw attention to an issue or an incident. Since satire is so complex, it's really intriguing to ask the question, is political satire possible on Twitter? With only 140 characters, is satire possible? Is irony possible? And can satire content be varied or is it limited? There are a lot of issues and questions that arise when examining satire on Twitter. For the purposes of this video, I'm specifically going to be focusing on The Colbert Report and The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. I will be uploading a separate video just on Last Week Tonight. The reason I pose this question is because The Colbert Report and The Daily Show with Jon Stewart did extraordinarily well garnering young viewers. In regards to late night news programs, The Colbert Report and The Daily Show had the highest ratings when it came to 18 to 29 year olds. That same young viewing audience is also utilizing online platforms. One of the first instances of satire not working on Twitter is the hashtag cancel Colbert. After tweeting, I am willing to show Asian community I care by introducing the Ching Chong Ding Dong Foundation for sensitivity to Orientals or whatever. That tweet was featured on the official Colbert Report Twitter account. That particular joke was also made on Colbert's official program in which he was able to have a long segment dedicated to addressing this issue. That joke was able to work well during a segment in which there was explanation and context, but not so much on Twitter when there was only 140 characters available. In response to that particular tweet, the hashtag cancel Colbert was launched. Certain groups thought it was insensitive and inappropriate. In regards to The Daily Show when Jon Stewart is still the host, I created a series of categories to mark whenever they made reference to a certain element on their Twitter account. My categories included expressly stating a claim, indirectly stating a claim, having the breaking news hashtag, hashtag The Daily Show breaking news, or hashtag TDS breaking news, referencing a politician, an academic scholar being referenced, a celebrity being referenced such as a singer or an actor, including a religious element, having a humorous punchline, or just being an advertisement for the program itself. I found that The Daily Show tried to have a balance of advertising their own program as well as having humorous content. I also found that they utilized the Daily Show breaking news hashtag quite often because that allowed them to have a joke with context. I found that 140 characters is quite limiting when it comes to satire, and in that particular manner, subtext becomes very difficult to achieve. The context and the person tweeting is also really important. If there is a tweet from The Daily Show, people may take it with a grain of salt or try and reference it in regards to satire, whereas if an everyday person tried to have a satirical tweet, it might not necessarily come across that way to another reader. The last two questions a reader then needs to ask are, why was this tweeted, and was this a part of the program itself? If that particular joke was also made on the show, there was a lot more context surrounding the issue at hand, making it a lot easier to understand. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know down below. I'd love to answer any inquiries you may have. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.